It's time now for a check of your first alert forecast. Let's go back to Lonnie Quinn as we are now officially into Memorial Day weekend. I know, right? There you have it. And there's some changes I want to share with you, and it has to do with Memorial Day. We still have a red alert for Memorial Day, but the timing is different. Right now, it's 73 degrees, beautiful night. It's been a beautiful day. We hit 84 today. Tomorrow, I'll chop off a couple degrees, about 82. The east end, you were 80, 80 degrees today. Around Brookhaven, maybe even 81. Tomorrow, about 72. But it's a good-looking day out there. Skies are beautiful. Beautiful right now. Big picture shows us we may see a few more clouds come into the area tomorrow night. A spotty shower, maybe even a spotty thunderstorm out there. But the bigger story will be a couple of low pressure systems. This pushes to the east, slingshots that second system into our area, but not tomorrow. All right, here's 4 p.m. Sun and cloud mix. The rain still off to our west. By the time you get to Saturday night, this is 11 p.m. You start to see some of those spotty. Possibly thunderstorms make their way into the area, but watch how as it moves to the east, it fades away with the influence of the ocean, that cooler air. Sunday's a good-looking day, nothing more than a spot little light shower out there. It's all about Monday. Cloud cover setting up on Monday, all right? We're very confident of that. By 9 a.m., though, the big stuff is not here. Maybe a spotty raindrop out there. This is 9 a.m. Now it looks about, boy, about eight hours later than what the models were indicating earlier. Now it's 3 p.m. This was about 7 a.m. earlier in the day when I was looking at the model information, and now it's 3 p.m. into our western suburbs, and then it's pushing inland, sort of breaking up a bit, but watch what happens here with these two systems. Wow, that's a bruising system. So this is why the National Weather Service is saying inland gets the bigger rain numbers, twice as much of a risk for flash flooding, because look at what the projections are like. Now, granted, this only goes out till 8 p.m. That heavy rain would continue to push to the east, but it's projecting Hazleton with five inches of rain. All right, Morristown picks up an inch, but look, New York City, a tenth, hardly anything out around the east end. That rain, as I showed you, this is an 8 p.m. depiction, will continue to push east as you go through the late night hours on Memorial Day, but it should get weaker as it pushes east. You cannot take the risk of flooding anywhere in our area off the table, but it's just more heightened north and west of New York City. So the takeaway that you need to know is the models are much slower tonight. The morning looks drier. It's the afternoon and the evening that looks much more active. Northwest New Jersey, the western Catskills get the toughest weather. Does New York City and the east get spared altogether from the worst? You can't say no, but as of right now, it's a 20% chance for flash flooding inland and about a 10% risk. So we're all at risk. That's why we have a red alert for Monday. Tuesday, some lingering rain for even Tuesday and into Wednesday by Thursday and Friday of next week. You know, low 70s out there with some sunshiny skies. But it looks right now mm -hmm. like two-thirds yeah. of the holiday weekend right. is pretty good. But the parades, I'm very confident, I'm not confident, I'm very optimistic by what I see that we can get some parades That's in. good. That's good. Thanks, Lonnie.